What's going on, y'all? And today, what I have for you is an experience. A griefing experience I had, and included will be somewhat of a guide and a warning for what you're about to see. Now, I wouldn't say griefing is a problem necessarily in No Man's Sky, but someone can really screw you over if you're not prepared. There's also a lot of little tips and tricks I'll point out along the way, but other than that, there's not too much to explain. Basically, I've got about 300 hours in No Man's Sky. I bought it at launch, and I grinded so hard that now everything comes fairly easy. But uh, back to the story at hand, I was working on a base right after the Abyss update dropped. You see my little wannabe lighthouse there. And uh, this Russian player just so happened to drop in. And well, you'll see the events that transpired. So here we are, just doing my thing, minding my business, and I know he's at my base. I was just waiting to see, you know, what he'd do. I'd met other people in the past, and they were pretty friendly, but uh, la-dee-da, a few minutes later, he comes down, and normally the first thing I do is drop uh, some starship fuel or a warp cell into their inventory, just as a peace offering, and it'd be nice, but I was out, actually. So yeah, here's that first awkward interaction with the staring and the waving and the positioning, maybe pause for a photo, but I was busy and I needed to go outside to continue building, and that's where it all goes down. So yeah, that's about it. Nothing too crazy, he didn't really get to damage anything or hurt my inventory or none of my stuff, but uh, I've seen that happen to a lot of people. They'll start deleting your base or keep spamming you with death until you quit or whatever. But uh, anyways, now I would like to show you the proper way to behave when you join someone else's game. You'll see we're just gonna join a random game here and just right short of uh, 300 hours like I was saying. 
and uh, we're just gonna drop on in and see what this guy's up to. See, uh, see maybe if he's got a decent base. I haven't come across too many decent bases actually. If I'm uh, talking, oh, let's see what we got. Nice little cliff base here. Slow landing. Uh, day now. There we go. Smooth. All right. Ablaton base. Welcome, welcome. Nice plan. Pretty. What else we got over here was protect Earth. What? Protect it from what? This isn't Earth. Uh, race initiator. That looks dope. Let's see what's inside here. All right. What do we got? Refiner. A couple of uh, capsules. Can't really interact with these, but that's okay. It's cool. Don't really need to. Let's go upstairs. Now, what I want to talk about is how to behave when you go to someone else's base. So, yeah, I found a little farm he's got, a little tiny cute thing. I'm going to go ahead and collect some, but notice what I do. I'm going to refill his hydroponic tray. All of them seem to be empty, so you know what? I'm just going to be a nice, good neighbor, and I am going to, you know, collect his stuff because it's there. But I'm going to refill it so by the time he gets back you will have fresh stock, and I just think that's the right way to conduct yourself, you know, with integrity, and not pretend that there's some wall of anonymity, invincibility, that, you know, well, they can't get me, like, obviously, <laughs> that guy who dropped in on me was not prepared, he did not know he was getting himself into, uh, but I mean, that's, most people don't have the armor and the weapons and stuff that I have, because I've been playing for too long but yeah that's uh that's about it for today i really hope you guys enjoyed it coming up soon also i will be having a showcase of all of my 300 plus hours bases so stay tuned for that and uh shoot me some likes let me know that you are down